friends today we will make a free energy generator using a cylindrical cardboard over which this thin insulated copper wire is wounded in multi turns maximum number of turns is wounded over this cardboard cylinder and we have left the two endings of the copper wire and we will try to rotate this round magnet over this and spin this round magnet over this and see whether how much quantity of emf will be generated in this so let's that try the experiment and begin the experiment so we have a cylindrical cardboard or which multi number of insulated copper wire is wounded a round magnet and a dc motor for this first we will mount the dc motor in the place so that it can fix firmly we will fix the motor tightly over the board once the motor is been fixed now we will mount the round magnet over the shaft of the motor and see that this round magnet is free to rotate once it is been fixed next we will take a stand like this over which we can mount a cardboard we have fixed two sided tape in the base of this and now we will mount this cardboard over which we have wounded a thin insulated copper wire over this so that it can fix firmly over this so we have mounted this now we will keep this under the base of the magnet so once the coil is kept under the base of the magnet and the magnet is made to move over this coil and the endings of the copper coil we will connect it with the two point terminals so for that we will remove the insulation of the copper coil and connect it with the two terminals so slowly remove the insulation of in the both the copper endings once the insulation is removed we will solder this with the terminals paste the solder wire over the insulated copper wire and we will solder it with the terminal once the soldering is been done properly next again solder the next terminal to the next point of the terminal once both the terminal is been fixed now we will connect the powered bias diode to the point so that to the terminal we fix the powered bias diode and we will fix one terminal with the powered bias diode <coughs> 
and before that we will twist it so that we can coil it and make a connect it with the odd batch that once it has been connected next to the terminal we will connect it so once it has been connected to the coil next again we will connect the another coil to the other terminal so we'll connect the other coil to the other terminal and solder it to the next terminal once the shorter is been done the coil endings are soldered with the powered bias diode and this next we will connect it with the filter capacitor so that it can filter out the residual AC Once it has been connected, next we will connect the, the terminals of the DC motor with the terminals. So we have completed the connections here. So here the motor with the round magnet is fixed here and uh, the coil is there uh, whose endings are connected with the power red ass and filter capacitor. Next we will give a torque and see whether the EMF will be generated or not and how much quantity uh, EMF will be generated we can check with, with the multimeter. Once everything has been completed, next we will give a torque to the motor and see whether the EMF is generated in the coil or not. So for that we have to give a maximum torque to the DC, uh, to the um, uh, flywheel or the magnet and see whether the EMF will be generated or not. For that we have to give a maximum torque to the, uh, uh, to the magnet and see whether EMF is generated or not. So you have to give a maximum torque. So once the torque is been given, the magnet starts to rotate showing that EMF is generated by the coil and mm, uh, the coil generates the EMF and through the diode the EMF is uh, being produced. Now we will check with the multimeter that how much quantity of EMF is generated in the coil. We have kept the uh, voltage range to 20 volt range and see that how much quantity of EMF is generated. So here 3.46 nearly 3.46 volt is DC volt is been generated through the coil. So, henceforth, 
the emf is generated once the magnet rotates over this coil so this works over the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes emf is generated in the coil so with the help of a bulb we can check the bulb is glowing showing that emf is generated in the coil whenever the magnet rotates over the insulated copper wire a maximum flux is linking with the coil and emf is generated in the coil Thank you very much friends for watching the video please subscribe the channel so that whenever i create such videos a notification arrives you once again thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much